Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to the channel. I know I don't usually start vlogs with a little, um, Kasumi on the screen. That's the name of this character, by the way. Her name is Kasumi. She's from Love Live. Just a little fun fact for you guys. But I wanted to explain that, um, I don't know, this vlog is happening in my bedroom instead of my doll room. And you may wonder, oh, why? Why aren't we in the doll room? And the answer is, I don't know. I just wanted to change it up. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let's begin. Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're hanging out in my doll room. This is my girl's really rock Roxy, and yes, she does still have a stain on her cheek. I'm too lazy to take care of it, and also this doll cost me a stupid amount of money, so I don't really want to leave her outside with the um, acne cream on her face to take care of it. So we just keep her turned like this at all times and pretend it's not there. Don't ask about her bangs either, they don't want to lay down. That's just the way the world works. Yeah, did any of you- did some of you guys even know I had this doll? I never use her in my videos, and that's because we keep her in my bedroom, which is where we are right now. We're in Lizzie's bedroom, guys. Isn't that- isn't that a little- little fun? A little- it's like, it's like, it's like a secret. I've never seen my bedroom. But now, you will. I used to make quite a lot of videos in my room. I keep a certain amount of dolls in here, like all of my pull-ups. Well, except for the Misa one and the Karomi one, because those are in their boxes. I keep these three in here. The Kumis are in here because I really like them. Sasha's in here because I really like her. These three are in here because I really like them. Did you even know I had Felicia? You do now. Isn't she pretty? Yes. And then there's, of course, my Sierna. I love her so much. And I keep these two in here. Again, I don't know why. I just do. Of course, there are also my other pull-up dolls. I used to make a lot of videos with these on my channel. This is Noir and Saki. Do you guys even know who that is? Well, some people do. That's Saki and that's Noir. And then there's Violetta. She was my self-insert. Harley Quinn, who was there for some reason. Ala and Pierre Noel. She used to be my grail doll. It only lasted for a few months, though. I got her really fast. I also keep these two in here. I don't know why I keep Twyla in here. I just kind of do. And then there's this Jade. My beloved girlfriend helped me get her. So... She's special and she stays in here. I also keep some of my Mycenes in here, including my number one favorite, my gorgeous Masquerade Madness Chelsea, my other number one favorite, Splashy Chic Chelsea. Oh my god. I don't have my tripod today, so I'm, I almost dropped my screen there. But um, yeah, my gorgeous Splashy Chic Chelsea. She's got a cool umbrella, isn't that nice? I have these other two Splashy Chic dolls as well, Delancey with the yellow umbrella, pink dress and green coat, and then pink boots. Like, nothing about this doll. Editing Lizzie here, my audio got corrupted here. I was just saying nothing about the doll goes together, and for some reason that translated as boom, boom, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Back to the video. Okay, I had to reshoot this whole clip, actually. Yeah. I was saying Madison goes together much better. She's got very pretty orange umbrella, a sort of like white dress with red accents, a yellow coat, and then red boots. Like the colors on her go together much better than they do on Delancey, but I still like both of them. They're still like gorgeous dolls, you know? Chelsea is the most cohesive doll of the line by far. They just did such a good job coordinating all her colors. It's nice. I also keep this Chelsea in here. I just kind of had to sit her down back here though because when I had her standing up there, she fell and knocked Delancey over. So yeah. No, she didn't knock Delancey over. She knocked Chelsea over. Which is unforgivable, even if you are a Chelsea. Chelsea on Chelsea violence, for real. I also keep Honey in here. Before you ask me why, I don't know either. She's just kind of always been in here and I've never taken her out. But yeah, this is like my little uh, doll corner in here. Yeah. And then if you stand up, you see all my embarrassing anime figures. I have a lot of them. And then my even more embarrassing Shadow the Hedgehog collection. But this is one of my most special dolls, actually. If I could zoom in on her. Yeah. This is a pull-up. She is Monochrome Alice. And she's a special version that's limited to 50 worldwide, meaning there's only 50 of this doll in the world. She's awesome. Her box is really unique. I love her. I also keep some Monster High stuff in here, such as all of my plushies. Got Spectra. She's super cute. Frankie, who's probably in the worst condition because I found her at a thrift store, but I washed her the best I could. Uh, her earrings are damaged, unfortunately. 
I didn't go over any damage with Spectra, because Spectra doesn't have any. Got my Claudine, who was in fixer upper condition, but just because there was like a blue stain right here, you can still kind of see a remnant of it. But yeah, she's in good shape too. It's also my Abby, she's in perfect shape. Like there's nothing wrong with her. I love her so much. I did notice that these don't have eyebrows though. I don't know why it looks the weirdest on Abby. I only have Deuce because I found him at the flea market, but he's in really good shape as well. He's cool. I definitely wouldn't have bought him if I hadn't found him at the flea market though. And Dracula is actually the oldest one I have. I got her at the flea market because of course I did. That's where I get everything just about. She's in good shape. Very cute. And again, probably wouldn't have bought her if I didn't find her at the flea market. Oh, and I have this pet of Watsit. It came with um, Spectra and Abby, because I got those two on Mercari together. So from this collection, I'm basically only missing Gulia, Cleo, and Laguna, who happen to be kind of expensive. So, uh, flea market, don't let me down. I also keep my Monster High character encyclopedia book in here. If you guys don't remember this thing, it's just really cool. Has a bunch of information about some of the characters and their dolls. It's cool. It's a very nice book. Found it at the flea market for $5. So, you know, you don't have to give in to paying $100 for it online. You will you can find it if you look hard enough and thrift. Yeah. Positivity. Oh my god, I totally forgot about my vinyl figures. Okay, I've gotten all of these secondhand, which is why they're out of the box. But I have Laguna. I found her at a thrift store. She's in very good shape. Nothing wrong with her. And then we have Spectra. Found her at a thrift store as well. I actually found her and Twyla at the same place. I think the worst she has is like a little bit of dirt down here, but it's mostly paint scuffs and not dirt, so I don't know why I called it dirt. Twyla's in good shape as well. Pretty cute. Oh, she's got dust on her. Yeah, it was- oh no. Oh no, it's not dust, it's paint damage. I could fill that in with nail polish, probably. I don't have any like professional paint to use. And then I found Cleo at, you guessed it, the flea market. Did you guess correctly? Let me know in the comments below. Pretty cute. So yeah, the only vinyl figure I really want would, and would go out of my way to get is Toralai or Jennifer. If anyone has a Jennifer vinyl figure, contact me this instant. I also have one of my PR box things in here. I don't, I don't know why, I just do. These are some of my other pull-up dolls. Uh, I could introduce them one by one. We got Alice, Akami, Merle. I don't really like Merle. She might pop up on my Mercari soon. Just remember though, pull-ups are expensive, so she's gonna be 130 bucks. Um, Cheshire Cat, I love her. Eos, I love her. Uh, Luna, love her. Harley, love her, but her mask broke. I need to fix it my Yuki Miku or Snow Miku, and Naoko. Naoto? Was it Naoko or Naoto? I don't remember. But yeah, that's the line up here. Up here I have a lot more random stuff. This figure is a gift for my girlfriend, but it's Emerald from Ruby. Got some of my Equestria girls who survived the purge. I'm a Rainbow Dash fan. And Chrysalis and Luna. And Adagio. Does she still sing? She does not. And here's the evidence of my intense brain rot. We have an inbox Espio, the chameleon figure. Rouge the bat. I found her at some random bum ass Walmart in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what she was doing there, but I found her. And Tails. I actually just kind of found him laying in the aisle today and I felt bad for him, so I grabbed him. And I also keep this Claudine in here. She's cute. And these are my Rosen Maiden pull-ups. These ones are a collection from an anime. These two are actually the same character, but this is the 2014 version, and this is the original early 2000s version. She's limited to a thousand worldwide. I'm lucky enough to have one. My friend had to restore her though. I made a video series about her. They were called Lizzie Goes Bonkers, if you ever wanna watch them. They're fun. And then there's Bara Sweet Show back there, who is the reason I'm not allowed to buy from Magma Heritage on eBay anymore. So, yeah. We have Suginto, Kanaria, um, 
Suseisuki and Soseisuki, Shinku, Hinaichigo, and of course Kira Kira Kisho. Kira Kisho, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, it's my Rose and Maidens. They're my beloveds. All all one, two, three, four, nine of them. Fun fact, these two have broken wrists, but I just kind of glued them back together. Yeah. I also have this tan Hello Kitty plushie. Isn't she cute? Of course, we have my king, Jazzwares Shadow. I like to squeeze him and shake him around a little bit when I'm feeling angry. So that's my emotions. We don't talk about the OnStars plushies. So yeah, that's my bedroom tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that probably wasn't what you were expecting from me today, but it's what I felt like giving you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!